Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded right triangle ABC fully inscribed in a quarter circle with the center O, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, the area of this uh, quarter circle has been given to us as 5 pi square units. And moreover, this segment uh, AD equal to this segment uh, AO. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me label uh, the radius of this quarter circle as uh, lowercase uh, r. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square. And now since we are dealing with the quarter circle, so therefore the quarter circle area is going to be this uh, pi r square, and we are going to divide it by 4. And since the area of the quarter circle has been given to us uh, as 5 pi, so I am going to fill in the blanks over here. So we got uh, 5 pi equals to pi r square divided by 4 and here we can see this pi and this pi they are gone so therefore we are ended up with uh, r square divided by 4 equals to 5 let me multiply both sides by 4 to remove this uh, fraction so therefore this 4 and 4 is gone r square turns out to be 20 and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see our radius r turns out to be 2 times the square root of 5 units so therefore uh, this radius r turns out to be 2 times the square root of uh, 5 so therefore our this radius uh, OC length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 5. Then uh, this uh, radius uh, DO is going to be 2 times square root of 5 uh, as well. And since uh, these uh, two segments uh, are equal, so therefore this uh, segment AD length is going to be square root of 5. And likewise this is going to be square root of 5 as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOC and we are going to calculate uh, its uh, this uh, high party news uh, AC so therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square I'm going to label this side length uh, as lowercase a lowercase b and this uh, high party news uh, lowercase c so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, square root of 5 whole uh, square plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 whole uh, square equal to hypotenuse uh, c square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us 5 plus this is going to give us uh, 20 equal to c square. So therefore c square turns out to be 25. I'm going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our hypotenuse C value turns out to be 5 units. So therefore, uh, this hypotenuse uh, length turns out to be 5. And here's our next step. Now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our uh, job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have uh, drawn this uh, right triangle uh, a O E that is uh, congruent to this other triangle uh, A O C and since uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, congruent so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, A C is going to be equal to this side length uh, A E so both of them are going to be 5 and finally this uh, E O length uh, is going to be 2 times square root of 5 as well since uh, these uh, two segments uh, are equal. In this uh, next step, let's consider the whole uh, circle. 
that means we are considering four congruent quarter circles this one this one this one and this one so therefore this o is going to be center of this circle so therefore this radius of the circle is going to be 2 times square root of 5 likewise this radius is going to be 2 times square root of 5 this radius is going to be 2 times square root of 5 and finally this radius o f is going to be 2 times square root of 5 as well and now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem according to this theorem uh, if uh, B, C and E are the distinct uh, points uh, on the circle and the line AC is a diameter then the angle ABC is a 90 degree angle and here we can see we got uh, these uh, points E, B and C are the points uh, on this uh, circle and indeed uh, this uh, EC is the diameter of this circle so no wonder this angle EBC is going to be our 90 degree angle and now let's recall the intersecting chords uh, theorem according to this theorem if two chords intersect uh, in a circle then the product of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, given diagram and here we can see these uh, two chords uh, AC and BD intersect uh, each other such that uh, the product of these two segments uh, A times B is going to be equal to C times D as you can see in this uh, equation and now let's refer our attention back to our this uh, given problem we can see that these uh, two chords uh, AB and this uh, chord uh, df uh, intersect each other at this point uh, a and we can see this segment uh, is uh, square root of 5 i am going to label this segment a b as our lowercase uh, x this segment uh, a d is uh, square root of 5 and finally this whole uh, segment uh, a f is going to be square root of 5 plus uh, 2 times square root of 5 that whole thing is going to give us uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 5 so therefore we can write uh, this one as uh, a a times uh, a b is going to be equal to d a times uh, a f segments and now we know our e a length uh, is 5 a b length uh, is uh, x d a length uh, is uh, square root of 5 and this uh, AF length is uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 5 so therefore we can write uh, 5 times uh, X equal to square root of uh, 5 times uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 5 so let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 5 times uh, X equals to when we multiply square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to give us 5 5 times 3 is uh, 15 and now we are going to divide both sides by 5 to isolate uh, x this is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 3 units so therefore our this uh, a b length which is represented by x turns out to be 3 units and now let's focus on this uh, green right triangle uh, a b c whose two side lengths are uh, 3 and uh, 5 and now we are going to calculate uh, this unknown side length uh, BC and now let's recall the well-known Pythagorean triplets 3, 4 and 5 therefore if these numbers are 3 and this hypotenuse is uh, 5 then our uh, this uh, unknown side is going to be 4 uh, units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times the base uh, times the uh, height and in our case uh, our base uh, is uh, 3 and our height uh, is uh, 4 units so therefore the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 3 times uh, 4 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, square uh, units the area of this uh, green shaded triangle 
So thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 6 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.